Indiana's going to need him tonight to win this game, no matter how well their star, Trace Jackson Davis, plays. Well, we didn't see a double there. And I, I think he was waiting on it. This is like watching guards go at it. It's like, okay, I'll run up yours, right? They're going to get it to the big guy every time. And here's a putback from Mason Gillis, the 6'6", redshirt freshman from Newcastle, Indiana. Smoke their meat. Yep. Which I've had conversations with Archie. He, he thinks he's a better <laughs> smoker than Sean, his brother, at Arizona. So we'll have to, I don't know, there's a battle going on here. Brandon. Donnie, I think both of us thought that there would be a lot of denial by both teams for the bigs, but right now both yeah. coaches are playing mano a mano. No, no double team action, and, and as a result, shorts. Maybe on Williams again, waiting for a double. There's a late reach in and a foul that comes with it by Franklin. Clock, and we're nine minutes deep into the first half here. The wheel is a, a, a and, and really only a couple of free throws. It, You'll learn in this game that you got to mix it up a little bit. He's learned. Leads the country in attempts. Oh, and he touched them all, and we jinxed him as he missed both. There's the pop out. Dillon's trying to get double teamed that time on the pass. But Williams with those great hands, he's got big mitts, Donnie, but he's got soft hands. And, and more, more, more importantly, I think, than that is the long arms. This, look, you, you out jumped two guys. You know, what can you do? He's strong. He's got long arms, and you're right. Those hands are so good. This part of the game, though, Timmy, this will catch up with you. I, this is where he's got to continue to be better. I thought he. And you can tell a lot from what a guy has, if he's mechanically, if he's if he's yep. okay, where he is mentally, if he's making shots when the game is on. Jackson Davis, so he has to sit. <laughs> the way back to really match playing days under Gene Cady. Williams with another rebound. A chip against Indiana, even though they've won seven in a row. Five in a row against Archie Miller. Missing six of their last seven. Inside, Williams goes with the jump hook. Can't get it. Look at it. Just stay on top of it, and it's ripped away. Good game. Let's just play some basketball. It's emotions, oh, but let's play. Oh, we cut it off. Darn it. But... Trust me, it was working on Thompson. And the late double, that's a block. Yeah. They're going to count the basket, though. They're going to say it was on a downward flight, so goaltending is the call. Count the basket for Travion Williams. Look, I don't know what he was waiting for. Uh, look where he catches it. I, I don't know why he needs all the, the shimmy and the shake and all that. <laughs> Back then, at this stage of my life, you just don't care anymore. There's Williams on the glass. And the reach in foul today. Tag. Great job. I'm down on him a little bit tonight. <laughs> if, if, if you couldn't have yeah. tell by what I've been saying, but again, it saw him and that an Indiana team in 76. There's Williams, counted and a foul out of the timeout. Beautifully done. But Donnie, that team was as awesome as any I've ever seen with my own eyes, but they played Alabama, the Leon Douglas team in 76, coached by Bob Knight's close friend, C.M. Newton. They were together when uh, when Knight was coaching the Olympic team uh, as coach and assistant coach. And that was as close as Indiana came to lose it. And it was in the Sweet 16. It was played, actually. Maybe he'll warm things up in the second half. He looks good at shooting in, 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 in layup lines and warm-ups. Williams, a turnaround jump hook that falls. Yeah, I think he has to continue to just go over that left shoulder. He, he's got long arms, big mitts. Th that's an impossible shot to block with the defenders that are on the floor for Indiana. So we'll get the foul. Impossible to stop this. That's a great little fake to the right and come back with the jump hook over that left shoulder. It's it's just such an impossible shot to, to stop. Thompson goes to the bench. <laughs> he tried to, he thought maybe because of the gamble by Williams that he could take it to the rock. To the away from the basket. Galloway. Williams the rebound. You know, when Thompson's in pass to Gillis, but Gillis stopped running towards the basket. He gets it back and puts it in. Yep. Well, he'll just stay with it, buddy. The jump hook is just is just so valuable for Williams. Durham jump stop. Teardrop. Too strong. Pulled down by Williams. Durham a lot tonight, only three points. 
No conscience there. Oh. Williams with a tap in. How about the control with the body and the right hand? He got it done in one felt swoop. On by double digits, they're at it again, trailing by 10. What a crossover. Everything but the finish from Williams that time. Almost too quick for, for his own feet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then checking Williams. No help coming. He'll just take it. Why not? It's in his arsenal. No question about that. 69-58. The story of this game. Purdue shooting 63% from downtown. Indy in the second half. He's up to 14 points. Got to go. Hessian. Beautiful pass to Williams. Just beautifully done. Boy, Mason Gillis has a keen understanding of where his big guy wants the ball. And just as special was the holdoff by Williams. A lot of bigs will go try to chase that ball before they have a chance to seal the defender. Davion Williams picked it up, scored 22 of his 24. And a missed opportunity for Indiana. Allowing the offensive rebound. Um, by rule, they need to do it. And uh, people need to also on conferences, the officials do during the regular season. They work for the NCAA in the postseason. More stops. And those free throws. And the free throws. Yeah. It's, it's... Armand Franklin picks up that foul. They're just trying to stop the clock and hope for the best. See if Purdue will return the favor at the free throw line. For these coaches, and, and especially the players, they're just trying to get the rhythm and the chemistry of their teams at this stage. And, you know, the numeral that's uh, next to their their university's name is, is of no consequence to them right now. It may be to some fans and to many of us in the media, but, you know, this is mid-January. Mid Long way to go. Yeah.